Martin, I'm going to start this interview by asking you the price of this XYZ1000 LR machining centre. What's it cost new? This machine's £43,000 in its standard configuration. Tell us what that standard configuration is. The standard configuration would be um, an 8,000 RPM spindle, uh, 20 station carousel tool changer. The story behind this LR range, from your opinion, you're an area sales manager for XYZ. You sell a lot of the HD heavy duty machining centres. This has been introduced into the range. Is it a good move? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. This, the, the LR range will enable us to compete uh, with a like-for-like -like machine in the uh, lower cost VMC um, market, which has always been difficult for us before with, uh, with our box weigh machine because of, um, because of price. There are, there are loads and loads of thousand or metre machining centres in the market, every year more and more. How do you differentiate yourself with this LR model to those competitors? Well, um, we like to think that our machines are very, very good quality. Um, I think the XYZ factor is also a very, very important point. You know, we're a, we're a nationwide based company offering excellent backup and support from the point of view of training, um, uh, service and support, etc. So uh, the XYZ factor is a, a very important point in that. What does the LR stand for? For people that may have not seen other videos we've done on the XYZ, what does the LR stand for? Uh, LR, LR is uh, linear rail technology, so it's linear ball bearing ways as opposed to solid slide ways, which have always been our traditional configuration. And in your opinion, is there therefore a compromise on this machine going against the HD by it having linear rails? And if so, what is it or are there just advantages? No, it's, it's, it's not really um, a disadvantage. Um, this machine is still built to the same stringent standards as our existing range. Um, this machine by all means is, is, or by any means, is no lightweight at all. I mean, this machine nearly weighs five tonnes, so it's very, very robust. Um, and it's built to exactly the same standards as our, our uh, HD range. Is it a powerful machine? I'm talking about the spindle here. Yeah, this machine's got a 15 horsepower spindle based on an S2 30 minute rating. So it's, uh, it's very, very powerful. It's got a BT40 spindle interface. Um, as I say, it's 8,000 RPM with an option of a 10,000 and a 12,000 RPM. The tool change we've actually got on this machine here, Martin, is kind of the, the arm type. That's a faster tool change. Is that what comes as standard or is it the drum type? It's the drum type, yeah. This, this, this is the optional tool changer, which is 24 station double arm. Uh, the, standard, the standard tool changer is a drum type, 20 stations. Now this machine, Martin, as, it, as the thousand would denote, it's a meter in the x-axis, but what is the Y and the Z? The Y and the Z is 500 and 500. Now tell me about the control options here. Siemens? Siemens, yeah. Siemens 828D basic control. Uh, we found more and more customers are now programming the machines offline. So with the LR range, we've actually, if you like, menuized the options available um, and the customer can actually specify the control and set it all up as, exactly as he wants it. If he wants the shop mill, uh, shop floor user interface, he can have it. Um, if he doesn't, he can leave it out. Um, there's also a lot of other control options that are available, uh, which you can also add at a later date. As the customer's uh, requirements or circumstances change in the future, he can actually come back to us and we can actually add additional options. I, I don't see a swarf conveyor on this machine, and also, what about things like wash guns, keeping the, the insides clean and tidy? Now, the, the machine doesn't come as standard with a swarf conveyor, but it is available as, a, as, as an option. There is cool and wash down inside the machine. There isn't a wash gun as standard, um, but the, the machine has a cool and wash down system inside the machine to wash the, the swarf all down to the front of the, the bin or the swarf conveyor. I'll come back to a point that we, we spoke about earlier about you being an area sales manager and having these machines in your range. Is this something you've wanted for a while? Yes, yeah, definitely. I think it's uh, an expansion to the range. Um, it can always be a, uh, a good thing, more, more choices. Um, we've always prided ourselves on having a um, competitive quality machine on a small footprint as well, because the nature of our customer base, um, they're usually stuck for space. So having a small footprint um, on our smaller range is also a very important factor. Having the support is a point that you, you mentioned earlier as well too. What about the warranty on this machine? Is, it, is there a standard warranty and can you expand upon that? Yes, you can. Yeah, the standard warranty is 12 months parts and labour. Um, you can extend the warranty up to seven years uh, if you wish. Now, if by extending the warranty, you'll, you also get a, a service included in that extension to the warranty. And 
All customers that buy a CNC machine from XYZ benefit from our programming support helpline, uh, which, is, which comes back to this XYZ factor, um, where you're getting it programming support for life of the machine, basically. I may be a new user to CNC. This, this would be an ideal entry level machine, wouldn't it? And that support could help me through my early stages. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely.